CDLA truckers. How y'all doing? Have y'all caught wind yet that FedEx is implementing a self-driving truck program in Texas? Yes, a self-driving truck program in Texas. Now, this autonomous trucking company name is Aurora. Now, I'm a few days late or, or, or a week late, so keep that in mind. Now, Aurora Pilot Program, in partnership with FedEx, is to begin this week. The company says that they will regularly and autonomously haul FedEx loads on a 500-mile trip between Dallas and Houston via the I-45 corridor. Here's the kicker. Here's the question. How long will the, they need drivers on board for safety? Two years? Four years? Five years? Ten years? How long would it take for this truck to operate by itself? Well, according to Aurora, Aurora says that they plan to phase out the safety drivers within the next two years. At the end of 2023, we will launch our trucking business and haul loads autonomously between terminals without a safety driver, Aurora said in the blog post. Now, what do you think about that, truckers? That's pretty much less than two years away. So, do you guys think that's going to work? Um, put that, let me know in, in the comments below. I'll tell you what I think about this. I think that in the perfect conditions, this will work. Texas, dry land, this real, this will work. Yeah, um, they may be, be able to phase out the safety drivers in Texas where you got perfect road conditions for driving without a driver. You don't have to um, overcorrect or recorrect or however you want to call it. Um, the truck can just go on about its business and don't have to really worry about too many things but I, I I wonder what would happen if an animal would just run across the road um, I've seen some articles that said that the truck will have more eyes than a human which I mean that makes sense it may be able to uh, locate a hazard before it runs into it but um, some things do happen it may not pick up a hazard so as far as things running into the road, I believe, yeah, it can, it will be able to pick it up. Um, but I really wonder about places that's outside of Texas, outside of uh, warmer climates that never has any challenges with weather. What about the Midwest and places where it gets cold? How could that work? How could they implement uh, autonomous truck without a safety driver on board I would think that this truck will have a hard time auto correcting itself when it's on a slippery conditions now the only way I see this working in in the winter is if they use a different tire like one that doesn't take air I've seen these tires online before they look more like waffle combs now if they found a tire good enough are strong enough to hold loads and could use that type of tire I can kind of see it working with that where it won't um, slip and slide on like um, conditions where there's snow and things like that as I know you guys can see where this can go wrong in conditions like this with icy roads and black ice and things like that so that's the only way I can see that working in in a climate like this or maybe they plan on just having autonomous trucks and um, hotter hotter places, deserts and things like that. Well, yeah, man, those are my thoughts about that. Um, this article came from CDLLife.com. So you can find the full article at CDLLife.com. The link to this article is in the description box. So, yeah, go there and, and really check it out. Hey, guys, give this uh, a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the sub button for CDLA. Remember, be safe, truckers, and you are the captain of your ship.